In this Quranic story of Prophet Jonah, the Lord Almighty is teaching us that no matter what condition you are in, if you are a pious, obedient person then you will be successful. When Prophet Jonah lost his hope in his nation, after preaching them for a long time, he decided to leave them. He feared a torment of the Lord Almighty on his nation due to their disbelief. So in order to save himself, he left. But it was in the knowledge of Lord Almighty that his nation will repent when they will see the torment coming. However, he did not know that. Unlike other nations who used to mock the prophets, the nation of Prophet Jonah was the only one who repented as soon as they saw the torment coming. There were very sensible people. They thought as there is no prophet amongst them that might lead to their destruction. When the Lord Almighty saw their wise action of repentance, he removed the torment from them and taught Prophet Jonah that he made a haste decision of leaving his nation. Prophet Jonah embarked a boat, but it started to drown when it was in the deep sea. The people in the boat argued that there is someone amongst us who has embarked the boat without a permission of his master. And in order to save us, there will be a draw, whose ever name will come, that person will have to jump off the boat. The name of the prophet Jonah came, as the Lord Almighty wanted to teach him in his own way. When prophet Jonah jumped from the boat into the sea, by the will of the Lord Almighty, a whale swallowed him. But he did not utter a single word of complaint from his mouth. The Quran teaches us to have good expectations from the Lord Almighty under all circumstances. Associate all the mishaps with yourself and all the positive outcomes with the Lord Almighty. And know that the Lord Almighty never does anything which is not beneficial for us, even if apparently things might not seem to be in your favor. In the stomach of the whale, Prophet Jonah realized that he had made a mistake. The Quran says he repented to the Lord Almighty in the darkness. He prayed, None has the right to be worshipped other than you. You are free from all the deficiencies. You never treat anyone unjustly. I am at fault. My Lord! The Quran says, Lord Almighty forgave him and ordered the whale to leave him at the seashore. As there was no shade on the seashore, the Lord Almighty grew a tree for him, and he was able to rest under the tree. Then the Lord Almighty ordered him to go back to his nation as he has removed the torment from them. Whatever the prophet Jonah went through, it was a test from the Lord Almighty to increase his rank and to bless him more. And to make an example of him, that how the Lord Almighty guides his pious people in order to increase them in faith. The lesson from this story is that we need to follow the laws of the Lord Almighty, regardless the outcome. Secondly, if you followed a Sharia law, perceiving it in a different manner, but later on followed correctly, then no need to worry. The Lord Almighty is most forgiving and most merciful, and He knows what is in our hearts. For example, when Prophet Jonah saw the torment of the Lord Almighty, he decided to run from it, which is a sensible thing to do. But the Lord Almighty taught him that he should not have left his nation. He repented. He did not cry over it again and again that why did he leave the nation, he should not have left, and so on. He just repented to the Lord Almighty and moved on. The scholar says when you have already repented from a mistake which you did, just forget it and move on. Trust the Lord Almighty that he will forgive you. There is no use of blaming other people and crying over it again and again. May the Lord Almighty guide us to the straight path, like he did to his prophets. Amen.